or up to the entry of Gava. Haughtiness. Being a big shot. The pillar it starts by recounting many of the teaching of the sages, how it's not, it's, it's really bad to have haughtiness, to have gava, to, to, to think that you're, uh, all that. As he says, the Gemara in the Midrash, as it says in Mishlei, to avat Hashem kol gova lev. What is considered abomination to Hashem is the haughty heart. When a person, uh, thinks that uh, he's better than everybody else, and, and, and actually has feelings because of that and acts a certain way because of that feeling of gava. This is abomination to Hashem. As the Gemara Mesechet Sotah, Dav Hey, it says, Vamru, Bishamta Yehe Man De It Bey. It should be or excommunicated. A person who has a haughtiness in full measure in his heart. Chashu Koveda Avodah Zara Vekiru Baal Kol Arayot. A person who has gava in his heart, it's as if he served idols, and he sinned with all the forbidden unions in the Torah. And he says, in the Gemara says also that he will not wake up into Hayat Amitim. Hazel Shalom. Okay, that's the end of the Gemara. Okay, so the Gemara in the Midrash says, Hayat Amitim Hazel Shalom. So therefore you see, it's very, very important to avoid, avoid very much the sin of having Gava, having haughtiness. Now, Amen. Now, we have to know that the real problem is, not just, okay, Rabbi, I won't walk with my chest out like this, and I won't, uh, you know, uh, uh, act like a big shot and and, and, and show gava the way I act. But a person has to know that it's not just how you act, but it's also how you feel and how you look at things. How a person inside of himself carries himself. So he says that a person has a shalom, he thinks as long as I didn't do anything bad in action, he says really the yetzara can still be inside of you, feeding you gava and making you think in a way of gava. And therefore your decisions, your decisions are based on gava, right? He says, for example, the gava can go be deep, so deep inside of you that what? To the point where a person's yetzara can tell them, no, <laughs> being intolerant, not having patience for people. Fighting with people, getting angry with people. They, they think that this is, uh, this is what it means to be macho. This is what it means to, to, to show people, uh, how you're refined and how strong you are. This is, I'm a, I'm a alpha male. You know, I don't stand for anybody's baloney. You know, I, I, I say my opinion. And, and, and that means I'm a, I'm a gever. I'm a man. I'm a macho. I, I, I that's part of being a mujik to go and uh, put people in their place, to go and tell people, listen. This is not gonna fly over here, alright? You know who I am? He thinks that this is part of being Adam. This is part of being, being a, 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 a complete person. Haza Shalom, Yetzara can trick him. To the point where people say, if you're not like this kind of guy, where you show people who's boss, and be macho, and be mujik, and tell everybody, Alio, hey, listen to me, right? And you don't act like that? Oh, so you're a loser, Rabbi. Basically, you're saying we have to be losers. We have to let everybody spread us like cream cheese. Do whatever they want with us. We're not allowed to say our opinion. Be uh, naive. That's what we were supposed to be. Haza Shalom, the Yetzara can trick you to make you think that if you don't stand up for yourself, put people in their place, so then you're not a man. You're, 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 you're a little girl now. Haza Shalom, that's how, that's how deep the Gahawa can seep into a person. And he says, so how is a really humble person supposed to act? What are you telling me? What is, what are we supposed to do, Rabbi? So it says the Pelewets, Aish, Ayere, Verach Leva, Tismar, Saro, Mirot Homer, Goda, Rada, Gava. A man who fears Hashem and really, it really wants to be humble, then what? Will internalize that what? That a person is just a part of the world in a greater mission. The world does not only revolve around you. The world is, involves many other people and everybody has a mission and everything happens for a reason and you have a lot of Evuna. And then what happens? So a person will really have compassion for other people and realize that there's another purpose for this person and Hashem made this person meet for you for, no, for a reason and Hashem made this happen to you for a reason. A person who really, really wants to be humble, he takes a step back. He looks at the whole picture. Doesn't only look tunnel vision on himself and thinks the world revolves around why this me, why did you do this to me, you know who I am, how can you do, do something against me. When a person zooms out and realizes the whole picture, there's a whole, there's like a Baruch Hu running whole scene over here, 
There, therefore, he'll look at it different and he'll avoid the evil of haughtiness. He will see how many blessings he will get because of being humble. He will go out of his way with all his strength to try to think thoughts to remind, remind him about why should he be humble. He'll be repulsive in his eyes. The Rishim Bayahai says we have two eyes. One eye to see the good in others and another eye to see the bad in ourselves. The Gaumni Vilna he used to tell people, you want to have humility? You want to have uh, anava? Even though you think you're so great, when you go to the bathroom and you do the act like an animal, that's you remember that you are very low, that you're not like an angel. You look, 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 look what kind of action, look, look what you have to look, a dirty thing you have to go and do. You're, you're a person, you're a ben adam, you're a flesh and blood, look, look, look what you have to do. This will remind you to look at these, remember these things and remember, look, two days ago, I yelled like a, like an animal. What, why, why should I give myself so much cover? Look how I behaved. I was, uh, I, I, I'm not a complete person. Look at the other day, how I fell in this test. Look at the other day, I made this mistake. There's a difference between humility and there's a difference between self-esteem and gava. person has to pay attention. Self-esteem is within yourself. I have to motivate myself. Even if no one was alive, I was the last person in the world. Hashem says, the world, the sun would rise just for me. For me, the world was created. But that self-esteem, that self, self for myself, inside myself, to motivate. Hashem wants my mitzvot. Hashem wants me to do to do good things. Hashem wants me not just to sit home and be lazy. Hashem wants me to accomplish. Hashem believes in me. Hashem would make the whole world run just for me. That's for yourself. But when it comes to dealing with other people, you're not supposed to impose your self-esteem on them. You're not supposed to be so driven that you run over the other guy because of your will and because of your motivation. And that's where humility comes in. Humility comes, how do I view my feelings and view my actions of, uh, corresponding to the other guy, the guy next to me? When I'm by myself, instead of being down and depressed, use self-esteem. When it comes to other people, you have to take out the card. As the Simcha Banim Ipshischa, Allah used to say, you have to have two pieces of paper. One in your pocket, the piece of paper says, Bishvili Neva Olam, for the world was created. I should push myself to do the best. But in the other pocket, when it comes to other people, what is me? What am I? What am I like? What is my life? I'm just by dust of the earth, like Avram Avinu. So therefore, a person has to have in mind constantly self-esteem is with yourself, humility is towards others. So therefore, lo yakpid, velo yichas, lo yitaim a person who's really humble will never take issue with anybody, will never get enraged, never quarrel, never fight with anybody, no matter what kind of provocation they make. He will be seen as those who always get insulted, but doesn't insult back. Even to the people in his family. Even to the people in his family. He will be exceedingly humble in spirit and in stature. So what? The guy who thinks, you know, oh, Rabbi, you have to be mujik, put people in their place, bop them in the head. But what? The real humility is no. There's a reason if really Hashem wanted you to everything go your way, it would have went your way from the fact that it didn't. That means that you have to have a muna and you have to realize that what does it help to yell and scream? People have bad feelings, they're going to be forced. That, that means they don't really want to serve you. A king who, who scares his, 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 his constituents into serving him, they don't have a real relationship with him. So a person who wants things to be real, he has to be humble in how he acts. And remember how Moshe Rabbeinu, what was the zikhut that he had that he gave the Torah? He was the most humble person in the world. How was he the most humble person in the world? He remembered all of my character traits, my smartness, my wealth, my strength, my everything. It's all from Hashem, gift from Hashem. There's people who are born without all these things. Why do I have? Hashem blessed me. So why should I feel gava? It's not mine. Everything is a loan from Hashem. Everything Hashem gave me, it's a gift. So therefore you should be zochet to remember this and be humble with us. Self-esteem with yourself. Be humble with others. Bro.